What's up guys? Today we're celebrating the Laser Engrave era. We got a lot of beautiful shoes here today with Ball and Twin, OG the Shoe Game, and Dane Customs. Dude, why are we here today? Well, we're here because this is the 20th anniversary of the Laser era. Mark Smith uh, headed up a nice crew of Laser guys uh, for Nike. And as you can see, many of them here that, that Randy owns, they're here on the table and this table is about to catch fire because Mark Smith was a master at Laser Engraving and we're celebrating it. 20th anniversary. Uh, we're doing that with the Kobe project, the Kobe Low project that we're here working on. Um, some of you know about that mythical pair as uh, Jake here uh, expressed. And we're trying to get that laser project dialed in to make Mark proud and celebrate uh, his anniversary, his 20th uh, anniversary. So I think there's so much fire on this table, man. It is crazy. Randy, yeah. Randy pulled out some major heat. As we were working on this, we were just in the middle of it. Ball and Twin came by, dropped off a lot of cool shoes for, for us to check out. Dude, where do we start? <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, uh, I think we, we can start with Brian's pair. I mean, I, that's, that, you know, that's one of the, I mean, that's probably the first time I've ever seen that pair in hand. And I mean, I've only seen pictures of it. And, and like I said, most of the stuff, you know, a lot of us, like me and Brian, I mean, we've just seen pictures of it and it's just to see it in hand is just like, oh, you know, it's, it's, and this was the era that like, I think to me is like been forgotten. Like nobody really talks about it. It's kind of, you know, and it's cool that you guys are doing the project, you know, to like kind of re, kind of bring it back, you know, to life or, or, or whatnot. But I think that's pretty cool that you guys are doing it and you guys are doing a great job. And I'm, I came in here and I saw the pieces. I was like, yo, that's, you know, that's crazy. I was like, Damn. I was like, it looks exactly like it. And I, and I think that's cool what you guys are doing. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just, this is just my stuff and I brought some stuff, you know, just, just to show you guys or, you know, or not maybe stuff that you guys seen or, or have not seen. And it's just, you know, stuff that I had in my collection for years. I was like, you know, let me, let me bring it out for some air. <laughs> this one, this one might disappear tonight. <laughs> so I'll put that out there. That is, I've said it for many years. Yeah. This, rarity, uh, uh, this is my favorite Air Force One of all time. It's, I've just never seen a more How'd you get those? captivating, like, yeah, explain the story how yeah. you got these, because it's amazing. And so how yeah, you, I mean, explain the story how you, you got these. If you knew, you didn't. Know. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. were right. Yeah. Explain no, how you got them, you just, didn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was back in, back in what was it, like 05, 06? It started so, in 04. Was it? First, the first uh, competition. Soul Collector competitions. And I won the very first one in San Francisco. That year, ever, that's right. In 2004. And um, then I went to LA. And then Jay, 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 won, Jay won the one. second one. <laughs> it went to, I don't know if I went to Chicago after that. It went, to, yeah, it went to Chicago. Then it went to Seattle, um, Seattle, Hawaii, through New York, uh, Miami, like all the major cities, all the major. Yeah. And it's funny because all the cities that the competition was held, it's lasered on the shoe. Yeah. If you look at it, it'll say like Miami, and then it'll say Finale, Las Vegas. And has a bunch of cool details on it, like it what cities like, took place. Since so, October 2003 on here. Yeah, so the way, and then what happened was that, so at every city, it was about 15 people that competed. And then, every like it was a public vote, right? From what I recall, it was a public vote. And then like whoever was attending the event, and they would, um, everybody just voted for who had the best table. And then every first place from every city was supposed to be at the finale. <laughs> I never made it. But there it. was, a, I, I never don't know, made at it that time, there was like, it was weird. It was like, I know you and Jay had I didn't some make like, it, Jay didn't make yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, the competition went a certain way after we won the first two. Yeah. And we just chose not to participate after that. But after seeing this, I kind of wish I did. Because <laughs> I might have, I might have edged him out. With beautiful box too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you know, I'm glad, I'm glad Randy won it because I know how big a laser fan he is. We're probably, oh, no. we're probably about equally the same amount. Of yeah, no, fans. for sure. Every time, like, I, I'm more intrigued about like finding or seeing things like this than some of the newer stuff, to be honest. With you. I'm like, man, like, like I haven't seen that. Like, I saw when I saw your pair, I was like. Damn, like, or even like the work that you guys are doing with this, like the, I mean, look at the laser that you guys are doing. It's, it's, it's very it's, interesting. It's, yeah, detailed. exactly. It's very detailed. I'm sure Mark's going to be happy with it. I'm sure, you know, and, and I'm sure everybody's going to be, you know, stoked to see it, you know, because like you said, like nobody's ever seen that pair. I mean, the only time it's been photographed was Kobe up with it. And then, and then who knows what happened two, to it. Two photos these, ever. Yeah. And with these, these were probably made very similar time frames and probably were together at some point. These are two of six, but right? They, they might've been made, six. they might've been made 
a day apart, yeah. maybe. And and but there's no tagging to show that. There's no nothing. pictures of them together. But, or but but you can definitely tell that they were made by the same person. And you can also, you know, it's safe to say that because we've never seen pictures of them together. But this might be the only time. This is the first time we've ever took seen them, them together. together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen Randy. I've known Randy for years. I mean. Decades. 18 years, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Randy was just a little guy when I first met him, but uh, you know, he's a full grown man now, but it's interesting, you know, we, he lives here, I live in California, and we don't get together, but to finally reunite and see him again, and you know, reunite these two uh, brothers, I call them brothers. You know, I think you're, this brother needs to come home with big brother over here. So. Yeah, you know, they're pretty, I mean, they're, they're unique pairs for sure. I will say this though, after being a part of laser engraving these parts alone, I have a whole nother appreciation for the laser engraving world from Mark Smith and their whole team. Like this stuff's already beautiful as is, but dude, like it takes time to like get everything figured out, make it look nice, line everything up. This Not to mention if that would just be one size. Right. Dude. And then you got right. all different sizes. So yeah. you're telling us we might see Vic the Laser Master Almighty. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bring it back. Bring you it know, back. You know what's crazy? The yeah, like, when I would see all these like to me it was like it was more how do I say like it was it was more art to me than like than just a shoe. You know what I mean? Because yeah. of all the deep you know all the details. And obviously, like, I mean, and, and during that time, like when the laser was out, like, obviously each, there was a, what was it, like four different um, guys that had their own shoe, like Chris Lundy. Ludecky, De Tom Ludecky, uh, uh, Desmond, Maze, Maze Desmond. Um, who was the other dude? Uh, oh, it was Desmond, Chris Lundy, Maze, and there was one more. So they all got their shoes released, but still it was like, oh, they, like they only made a certain amount. It was like. And each one put their own like artwork on it. Like obviously Chris Lundy was known for his like his wave, from, and, water. His wave and water, like yeah. you know, That's and all right, that. So like, like, I know. Uh, I've always tried to get pairs of never found thirteen even, and anything. You know, each and had his, their own personality. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like they each had their own thing. Like Maze, I have a Maze pair, but I didn't, I'm telling you, I just I couldn't. I probably couldn't find. It. But Maze was the graffiti guy. Yep. He had the um, NYC tra or the train, right? The NYC yep. train. And like uh, Desmond for his dunks, you know, it was more of like, I mean, it was to mimic like, I think a, a, like a bill or something. Yep. Uh, so it was like, they all had their own like, like little- Don't you stop. Know, yeah, don't stop. stop. Even Mark- like genie looking, makes yeah. sure it's like money. It's interesting, like Mark Smith stuff and talking with him, he always says, you can always tell if I lasered it because he does extra deep. If you look at him like this pair, this pair, yep. this pair, this pair, that pair you know they're all Mark Smith because of the depth of the engraving. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of his uh, master stroke and yeah. personality of his engraving. And yeah. all the guys you guys mentioned too, like it's cool too that I recognize them because they're all in filigree as well. In this pattern, they're all just in there. You yep. know, MJ's name, what's, the team's names, all of them. What's cool too with Mark, he would put his face yeah, logo on the back. Too, yeah, it's awesome. Know, so. <laughs> and then obviously everybody, I mean, everybody nowadays knows this one just because it's more uh, yeah, the more recognizable one just because done defeat it and then for the entourage and whatnot but mark's the me, original fuki yeah he is yep. to me it was great you know he wanted to know how i got these it was so funny i went to a, an event in hollywood with uh that's where i met or when i first met kobe bryant and he was there and they had a silent auction right and i go to this table right and they had a bunch of stuff and i'm like all right i was like I need, all right i need this one and i put a bid for like 250 bucks i said all right they're gonna outbid me whatever i just left 250 bucks like two days later, hey, Mr. Randy, uh, you won the shoe for $250. Wow. I'm like, oh. I'll double your money right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'll triple it. <laughs> no, and I was like, I was like, yo, 250 I said, that's crazy. I was like, all right, I'll buy, you know, obviously I'm, here's my credit card, can I go pick it up? Wow. And they were like, oh yeah, it's here, it's 250 And I was like, oh, perfect. And you broke your neck to get done. Yeah, I was like, man. Still. You know, yeah, no, for sure. And it was like, I can mean, help you recoup some of that money. I'll buy, I'll buy the laces. Uh, <laughs> the other ones, not those. The that original is. ones. The original. I think I, 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 I should still have. I have the laces to most of them, but yeah, I don't know. I just, to me personally, yeah, I was just, wasn't a fan Chick, of that. Come on, that tuxedo dunk. Yeah. I love your tuxedo what's, dunk. What's your take on the laces? 
I love the Fat Laces. I come from that era, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm an older collector, so they've grown on me, but still. I come from Fat Lace era, and you know what? That so just this looks side right. of the table is into the Fat Laces. This side of the table is into the, okay. the skinny. I'm starting with the guy the that owns most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Old man over here. So wait, on what are you guys gonna put on this one? Fat Laces. Fat right? Laces for sure. We're yeah. trying to make it look like the. Like the so close original. to the original. We, we got some tweaks on it, so we're not trying to replicate it. We're just trying to make it close enough. Did close this enough. one originally have fat laces? Yeah, all of them. Yep, they all, all came with. Right? I think that one came with this. So that's how much you don't like the fat lace. That's how much I don't lace. like it. That I just yeah. And this one came with fat too. Yep. Yep. Fat laces, and I just well, took it came with white or black. Black. I'm gonna tell Mark you change. <laughs> <laughs> You're messing with the I don't artist. You know what's funny is like we've known Mark, and I've never asked him like, what was your thing with like the fat laces? Like, did it just? He he's old like me. That's you why. Put, that's you know why he like when you put it through the loophole, it's just it's like it's not an easy fit. You gotta like yeah. push it and then pull it. It's not like like putting on a regular shoelace. So nope. it's just yeah. he must have just liked something about it. Just I, swag. I, I yeah. absolutely love the look. So I'm yep. totally in with it. Yep. Oh yeah. How many pairs do we have here in total? Uh, five nine. Ten and a half. So that's like what? A one percent of the stuff that Mark and his team have created. Like, oh, half, oh. like point zero zero one percent. Yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. think? Yeah. Well I'd I mean, love to have just a book of everything. Yeah. You know, that'd be awesome. Dude. You know? So that's just like we're really scratching the surface when it comes yeah. to stuff. You know, because yeah. then Michael Jordan has some of his stuff in his personal collection from like his 40th birthday. You know, stuff. So like we have some gems here, but there's some even crazier gems out there that either we don't know of, obviously you won't get to touch them because they're in MJ's closet and who knows when they'll ever, I don't know, come out. Then so, we have, and then, oh, sorry, the, the, the yeah. we don't even know where the Kobe, do you guys know where the Kobe Laser Low 3, the one we were creating, do you know where it's at? It's probably with his estate. I think so, it's probably, it's still there. It's probably in Newport Coast up on Pelican Hill. Crumble Missile? So, probably, yeah. but you know. Yeah, yes. that, I mean, ever since it surfaced with Kobe, it just, that was it. That you was never it. saw it again, yeah. So. What were you gonna say, Jake? I was gonna ask, so besides obviously this one, the Entourage, this pair with the sample tag, and then and these, out of out of the Lundy's, which I guess, you, you wanna switch that one with this one? Yeah, cause this whole back row would be Lundy, right? Got him, that's fine. So, except for this one, who, did, who was this artist? That was it. Mark did that. Mark design. did that yeah, too. Did, yeah, when he was. That's the Black Cat uh, MJ. Yeah, so sound. I never, I never knew he did the. Um, Absolutely. The collage with all that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, that was him. I did Absolutely. not know that. Yeah. There's a lot that he did that like he's very. Yeah. He's very low key about. Is yeah. it the same pattern that's on the Spitzikes? Or is it completely similar? I think. Very, very similar. similar. There's variations to and it. The, right. And the fours. And fours. So is that? I know at the at the Grove Twenty Three, the golf course, which Mark was heavily involved in creating a lot of the things in the clubhouse. What I realized too is Mark's done a lot of different things outside of shoes, and oh, you yeah. can touch on that. Like Sincoro bottle, uh, he's created LeBron James logo. A lot of people didn't know that he uh, created Serena Williams, Williams logo, which which he had told me that he had originally created for himself, and then Serena saw it and wanted it for her. See that that's so freaking cool. Um, in his family's. Very talented. His wife created the Tiger Woods logo. Um, so just insane artists. And then like the latest piece, Henry creating the MVP Michael Jordan Award. You yep. know, that's a beautiful piece as well. Like yep. dude has his hand a little He was bit tapped for that. Creative genius. And he's so low key about it. He never brags about it or doesn't really want any spotlight. So I mean, I want you that I think this this era would know about that that he did. And I mean, yeah, it's he did the easy one. Mm -hmm. Easy one. He was behind the easy yeah. one. Yep. I mean, yep. look at Tinker has a laser pair. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. He does yeah. so it's like, about that. That's that's the yeah. side of things. He was the involved in that part. Yep. The yeah, blue. He, did, he did. He designed the easy, but not too many people. You know, he's yeah. very like low key. He's like like. I think it was Air Raid too. Yeah. Air Raid. He did a bunch. He did, uh, sock dart. He did. I mean, he's done a lot of stuff that like. Like, this goes on. Not, not, yeah, to, not to mention all the motorsport teams. Yeah, everything, yep, all that you stuff. You know, all of MJ's done. motorsport team. And you were yeah. telling me a story too, I think it's his studio or something. He had like a oh. big clear box or something. Oh, or yeah, just yeah. like he's just a bunch of shoes. And I get it, you know, dude works with shoes all the time. So for him, it's just, you know, he, whatever. For him, it's just like. For us, we'd have him in a glass case and this yeah, and that. Exactly. He just has they it they like, just, yeah, this is something up on the shelf over he's, here. He sees them all the time. So he's like, he's probably tired of it, of seeing shoes. He's like, I'm done with shoes. How many shoes do you think are in there? I don't know, but hey, he just has a big pile. I don't want to know. It makes yeah. me jealous. Yeah, thinking about I'm it. like, I was like, can I go in there and just 
pick mod or whatever and you know whatnot. R Randy came like, out with his pockets full. <laughs> <laughs> pockets empty. Nah. Yeah. So, nah, yeah. but now nah, Mark's real cool. Like I've known him for years. Uh, yeah, and it's just he's he's real cool dude. Like he's real humble. I said any questions he, he he you have for him. If he if he recalls, he answers. If not, he'll try to see what he could do to remember. But nah, he's he's a real cool dude. I've known him for years. Um, I met him, I think the first time I met him was in like 2006 in Hawaii. Um, yeah, and then ever since then, I mean, when the whole shoot thing kind of died down in like, what, 08, 09? And, you know, I kind of got out of it too, and then I came back, and then, yeah, and then I reached out to him, and we, we reconnected, and then, yeah, ever since then, like, it's real cool, dude. It's real cool, dude. Yeah. So this is our plea to Nike right to now, bring, bring the laser program back. Yeah, why not? Bring it's it back, please, Nike. Do it right. Yeah. Exactly. Bring, don't bring, just don't bring just drop him in it. to like bring a whole new wave of artists. You know, imagine like there's so many artists doing crazy stuff nowadays. Like Combine imagine both worlds. combining laser with some of the art that people are putting it, out. It's, and it's art. Even like uh, talking with them, they consider that artist proof coming out of yeah. the Nike Kitchen, the Innovative Kitchen. Yeah. They consider it artist proofs. So you know they are works of art. These are priceless. Dude. That's yeah, why. Yeah, we, that's are, why we love them. These are pieces of art, priceless. Yeah. 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 No. And, I, and honestly, it's like it, like. Like I've had people offer me money and, and nah, this is like what's, or, what's, what's the, the craziest thing? offer you got? If you don't uh, mind me asking, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta say who. Crazy. Just say well, a lot, Randy. Just say a lot. It's a it's a lot. Um, and it was actually for the one I won because everybody, every, like people who know about it, know about it, and they know like they know like it's it's the only one out there because I don't think any other pair has ever been seen or nobody else has it. I mean, I've asked Mark too, and Mark's like. He's like, I think that's the only one I did. Yeah, the He's term, like, so you have the only one. The term holy grail, you know, unicorn gets tossed around pretty lightly. That right there, dude, that's, that's a unicorn. You're never gonna see and that it has like this, well, you can tell me here. So it has you know who that is, Steve, right? Nicole, and Alex. Alex you know who that is, right? That's his daughters? Or? Soul no. Collector. Uh, the owners, the two the owners, owner. and then Retro Kid. Yeah. Oh, retro that's kid. right. Alex yeah. Wang. Yeah. yeah. And they then, were they were judges. I know they changed it a little bit, but when they first started the competition, Alex was one of the judges. Steve was. Man, if yeah. they had a competition now, it would. The only and the only reason I say it is like not not because it's like because now the internet's so like you know internet voting back then it was just like you had to be there to see it. Yeah, it was. And, like, and when we win, I like the first. I went to the first one. I didn't go to win. I just went to show what I had and check out other people's cool sho shoes and. What year was you know, this? That 2004 to 2006. The finals was in 2006. 2006. Yeah, so it says 72206. It says grand finale. Yeah, yeah. Right there. That was in grand Vegas. Finale. And it says Las Vegas on yeah, the Yeah, that was right? in Vegas. Uh, yeah, so it says Las Vegas on the toe here. Yeah. And it has like the heart, spade, club, and diamond. How oh, he lasered that pan leather though. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Cause it's, it, pan leather is hard to laser. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Through that he definitely has course. tricks. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I was just like, and then how you see it's like, it's lasered yeah. on point. It's not burnt, over burnt or nothing. Yeah. It's, it's cool though to get together with you all and just talk about dude, lasers. This is awesome. Stuff, so. This wasn't even expected, you know, I thought we were just gonna be working on the shoe. Dude, I appreciate you coming yeah, by yeah, with all this stuff. Cause yeah. again, we don't see this stuff every day. Not every cool. single person in the world gets to touch stuff directly that was worked on from the innovation kitchen, you know? So this is a treat, dude, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, no cool. problem. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For the, for the camera to see right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says innovation kitchen. Right there on the top. Barely make it out. The kitchen. Sweet. Okay. Well, it was awesome chopping it up with all you guys. It was awesome. Dude, Thank right, you right, for man. coming through, man. Crazy. All right. And crazy, crazy. Thank cool. you, Mark Smith. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs>